So, Vegan Gains, about Black Lives Matter. Hey y'all, welcome back to another installment of my Vegan Gains response videos. Today I'm going to be focusing on Vegan Gains' video about Black Lives Matter and just kind of taking apart some of the things that he presents as evidence of Black Lives Matter being a racist terrorist organization. So Vegan Gains presents a ton of evidence in this video. Some of you are probably thinking, yeah, based on what Vegan Gains showed, it's pretty clear that Black Lives Matter has to be a racist terrorist organization. But once you actually look at what he's presenting, you might start thinking, Richard, maybe you should have looked a little bit more closely at your evidence. So we're just going to start with the name Black Lives Matter. You can tell just by their name, they're Black Lives Matter, not all lives matter, and they really do mean that. They do not give a fuck about any lives other than black lives. So if someone wants to take offense at the name Black Lives Matter, regardless of the evidence that around the world blacks are treated as disposable, then that's their opinion. But it's opinion, not fact. Richard claims that Black Lives Matter was a response to the shooting of Michael Brown. This Black Lives Matter movement started because of the shooting of a violent criminal, Michael Brown. Not exactly. Black Lives Matter was created in 2012 as a response to the shooting of Trayvon Martin and the fact that George Zimmerman received a not guilty verdict in the trial for that shooting. From their website, at least, Black Lives Matter claims to be a response to the virulent anti-black racism that permeates our society. The website clearly states that Black Lives Matter is more than about the killing of black people by police and vigilantes. So that tweet... It's a tweet from Black Lives Matter co-founder Yusra Kogali that has raised eyebrows and concern. It reads, quote, Please, Allah, give me strength not to cuss slash kill these men and white folks. Now, these are some strong words, but they're not as Vegan Gaines quickly paraphrases. She just really wants to fucking kill white people, but particularly white men. It's not what the tweet says. There's no proof that that's what the tweet means. That's just opinion and not fact. And she also just so happens to be a Muslim. And neither is Kigali's Muslim identity somehow proof that she wants to kill people or that she's violent. It's kind of a gross generalization. It's opinion, not fact. Then Richard shows us a number of tweets. I think there are six in total. One of them includes the hashtag Black Lives Matter. It reads, white bitches can't be raped. They can be attacked, but not raped. Rape requires institutional power over an individual. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. Someone has overlaid some words indicating that the above tweet is allegedly from a Black Lives Matter leader from Howard University. The tweet is offensive. It doesn't necessarily, though, indicate that the person who sent the tweet intended anyone any real physical harm, at least. And there's no proof that it's connected to Black Lives Matter other than the fact that it contains the hashtag. None of the other tweets include the hashtag. He includes a video where the title indicates that it might be someone named Noble King who might be from a group called hashtag Black Supremacy, not Black Lives Matter. He shows a clip of what looks like a student wearing a Black Lives Matter t-shirt. The White House must die. The White House, your fucking White House, your fucking president, Burn it. they must go. Considering the president at the time was Barack Obama, it's not necessarily a show of racism. And whether or not the student is evoking terror is a matter of opinion, not fact. Certainly it's not an indictment of Black Lives Matter as an organization. Next he includes a clip from the Mediators channel and it is of a gentleman who is rousing the crowd and telling them that if the police shoot, that they should shoot back. You pull your piss out, you fucking bust it. You pull your piss out, you bust it. The person claims that he is a member of the Panthers. When we do, when we move with the Panthers, trust me, when you see me move, I'm moving in violence. Not Black Lives Matter. He shows a clip of Frederick Young at his murder trial, paying respect to Black Lives Matter. I'd like to say sorry to the families of Ayanna Jones, Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, and I want to apologize to them for not being able to get justice 
for their loved ones who was murdered in cold blood. And in respect for the peaceful protest, I want to say hands up, don't shoot, Black Lives Matter. Respect for Black Lives Matter is not an indictment of Black Lives Matter. And then there's a post from Face of a Dying Nation that shows a woman screaming, they beaten up every white people, they're beating up all the white people. And they beating up every white person! They jumping every white person! Man, no white person come down Sherman! He white! Beat his shit! Bitch! Take him out his car! This was apparently from a riot that took place in Milwaukee where black people were hunting for white people to beat up. So I figured that this was a big enough event that they would probably have shown up in the news somewhere, so I googled it. I didn't really find any reliable news sources. I found Infowars and I found The Blaze. And then I came across an article in Snopes.com. Snopes.com had investigated the video and investigated the claim. I'm gonna quote a little bit from the Snopes.com article. Milwaukee Fire Deputy Chief Terry Lintonen told us he has not received reports of any such incident. Milwaukee Police Spokesman Sergeant Timothy Gerke told us, I am unaware of any racially motivated battery or other violent crimes recently in Milwaukee. Milwaukee police also did not log any incidents of white people being singled out and attacked on their Twitter account, where they regularly posted updates during the weekend's unrest. The Facebook video, however, indicates no officers were in the immediate area while it was being shot. After we sent him the edited video, Milwaukee citizen spokesman Dustin Weiss told us that officials didn't have any information about white people being targeted. We are unaware of any official reports of the behavior you described and which is purported to be shown in these videos. Absent any official reports of these incidents, we are not in the position to confirm the origin of these videos. Based on our analysis of these videos, we cannot say for certain that they were taken in Milwaukee on the night in question. The video quality is too poor to discern street signs, landmarks, or even license plates, and we are unable to verify by any means when they may have been taken. He also cast doubt on the claim that people responsible for the violence were affiliated with Black Lives Matter activist groups. A number of websites that have posted the video have identified them as such. However, while Black Lives Matter protesters participated in the nonviolent protest that led up to the violence Saturday, the reports that we are aware of attribute the violence to a smaller number of disruptors unaffiliated with the peaceful protesters. Moving on. Richard then shows a group of African American, they look like maybe they're teenagers, maybe they're a little older, standing on top of a police car, and it looks like they're in Baltimore. I only see the Timor in the car, but I'm guessing it's the Baltimore riots that were associated with the verdict that came out after the murder of Freddie Gray. Now, although those riots were, you know, terrible, Black Lives Matter was not officially responsible. Richard shows a picture of a diverse group of people in a crowd. There are some African Americans standing towards the front, and there is a person, it seems to be a person who identifies as white, holding a Trump sign towards, towards the camera who's being held back by a police officer. Now, I'm not sure what Vegan Gaines wants us to think about this picture. It just looks like a lot of confused people and someone holding up a Trump sign. It's not an indictment of Black Lives Matter. And then he brings up the tragic shooting of police officers in Dallas. He does, however, concede that Black Lives Matter was not officially involved, that the shooter was not a member of a Black Lives Matter chapter. But then he claims, based on a story from Infowars, that there were Black Lives Matter supporters who were celebrating the shooting. A number of tweets are shown, and none of them contain the hashtag Black Lives Matter. It's not an indictment of Black Lives Matter. And then he shows a mark of 50 or so people. It's a diverse group. They are marching. They're carrying a banner that says Black Lives Matter. Some of the people in the crowd, not nearly all, chanting, Now, it's disgusting that they're doing this. Now, whether it evokes terror is a matter of opinion, not fact. The fact that the crowd is mixed shows that it's probably not a about black supremacy. Nor does it show that Black Lives Matter hates the police. It just shows that the people who were at that march were expressing some anger towards the police on that day. And even that is a matter of opinion, not fact. 
He also talks about Asada Shakur. Now, Asada Shakur was convicted of killing a police officer back in the 70s and has since been in Cuba. He claims that because members of Black Lives Matter worship Asada Shakur, who's a terrorist, that means that they are terrorist. What Richard is lacking here is context. Anybody who knows the history of the Black Panthers knows that they were the target of COINTELPRO. It was a CIA counterintelligence program intended to frame and destroy the Black Panthers. Now this isn't conspiracy theory. This has since come out as simple fact. You can look this up. It was routine that members of the Black Panther would be murdered in their homes, in their sleep. The government often used the justice system as a way to execute members of the Black Panthers. This doesn't mean that Asada Shakur is innocent, but it is reasonable that someone might assume she was innocent because of the history of the government and the Black Panther Party. So being a supporter of Asada Shakur does not necessarily make someone a terrorist. It's not an indictment of Black Lives Matter. If so, it's a matter of opinion, not fact. Now I went into this thinking that at least some of what Richard included in his evidence would be actual evidence, that it would be verifiable, but it turns out that really none of it is verifiable as an indictment of Black Lives Matter as either a racist or a terrorist organization that hates the police. The Pew Research Center did a study of support of Black Lives Matter. According to them, 43% of Americans support Black Lives Matter to some extent, where 22% oppose Black Lives Matter to some extent. About 30% of people hadn't even heard of Black Lives Matter. So Richard, it's not a foregone conclusion that Black Lives Matter is a terrorist organization or that they're a black supremacist organization or that they hate the police. Now, if Vegan Gaines chooses not to support Black Lives Matter, then that's up to him, but there's nothing that should compel other people to agree with him. I don't know, what do you think? That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and big guys.